Well, Coach Riley, this is, this is obviously a tough one. You, you played a pretty darn good first half, right, and then come out with a three from Ethan to start the second half, and then SMU got it rolling, and there wasn't a lot you could do to stop them. Yeah, I thought a uh, big, big piece of that was just the fatigue, and we, we looked a little tired that second half. I thought we scrapped and battled in the first half. It didn't necessarily, it definitely didn't show on the on the glass. Uh, I thought they were just able to punish us that both halves on that, but we got to be able to figure out how to get those ones out. Everything's a learning thing right now. So, yeah, I totally agree with you. And, uh, I mean, the way you started the second half, like you said, with Ethan getting a three, but then you had three empty possessions, yep. and it changed the course of the game for you. And, it, and like you said, it's just fatigue and back-to-back -back games, right? Yeah, and that's something, you know, we, we talked about as a team is that this is an opportunity just for, for us to win the championship and see if we're ready, ready to go do that. We, we had the chance to go do that today, and we're not ready. Uh, and that's, that, that's okay in, in November. Um, I, I think we got some work to do. It's a, it's a great learning experience, like you said. Uh, I, I mean, that's probably the worst I've ever gotten beat in the glass uh, as, a, as a coach. To, to not have 22 offensive rebounds and for us to have 17 defensive rebounds is, is a bad number. We've got to work on that. I've got to put our guys in better positions so they can be in better rebounding position. And especially offensively, like, we didn't have the answers. They, they were able to really, really slow us down, and we, we could not get paint touches early. How, how deflating is that, right, when you're, you're defensively, you're, you're – doing the right things you get a stop or a missed shot but then they get the offensive board and it results in another possession and so many second chance points 21 second chance points for SMU tonight yeah you know and and, and the 21 second chance points I thought we did a decent job of, of battling once they did get those boards um, so they weren't necessarily efficient on them but that just wears you down I mean it takes the air out of it you, you're not able to run and transition and we weren't able to flow into our offense as well um, and there's, there's just a lot to a lot to learn from and, and probably a lot of pressure on Nate. Uh, man, he's uh, obviously the the best option when Cedric being out. And, I mean, injuries are going to play a part in, in a season. But I thought he, he really did a nice job with the uh, – uh, I mean, he didn't have – what do you have, like two turnovers? Only or three turnovers. Three turnovers? Tonight, yeah, and eight as yeah. a team. I thought, yeah, it, it was good to see our turnover problem get fixed. But, you know, I, I, I'll take a couple more turnovers if, if it means we can get to the paint and, and, and really start moving and flexing the defense a little more. I thought that was a big issue. Nate did a good job with that. I got to find better ways to get Lawan and Isaiah moving into the paint and driving and uh, Ethan and Dane as well attacking the closeout. So there's a lot a lot we can do better um, and just we got we to gotta have a little more flow offensively. Coach, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Tell us what the plan is uh, with the guys. Uh, we're going to get rested up, make sure we get some treatment in the morning, try to enjoy some of this sun, and, and I think we're going to, to a Brazilian steakhouse tomorrow night with the, with, the, with the guys down in Los Angeles before we take, out, out, take off out of LAX. So it'll be fun to spend time with, with the team and get the guys off their feet a little bit. I'll take that over Turkey. Yeah. Those Brazilian <laughs> yeah. steakhouses are amazing. <laughs> and then next up, you've got you're in Reno to take on Nevada on Monday. Yeah, it's it's a heck of a game. I mean, I, I feel like we've we've – progress this season with with tougher and tougher teams and nevada is playing really really, really well yep. uh, they've had some great games this year and it's gonna be a great challenge for us and i guess one more final thing before we let you go is there any update on, on cedric's status or is it still just out indefinitely yeah we're still figuring out getting a few more answers before we make a make a decision on, on or really get find out what's going on all right appreciate your time and yep. uh, best of luck on monday at nevada appreciate and it happy thanksgiving yes. happy thanksgiving go Cougs.